Hey, gamers, welcome back. I'm infiltrating the Vampire Hunter HQ. What was that? It was nothing, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, things just beep sometimes. Don't even... Don't even fucking fret, my guy. Don't even... Shit, we lost the man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm a, mm, that's bad or very good. It could be good. Where are you? I could maybe turn this into a party. Ow! A party. Oh no! Ow! That's very bright. Wow. It's brighter the more I look away from it? That's weird. Swarm out and find him! Swarm out and find him! Ooh. A lot of guys. A lot of lads. Y'all really don't know how corners work, huh? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm happy about how oh, that there's so many. Okay, I lied. Or, I lied last time when I said, eh, there's not that many. There's a lot. There's so many. Makes Vlad's party seem like fucking nothing. <gasps> big chest, big chest, big chest, big chest. I don't like chess. I like it when it's big though. Anything can happen in big chess. Big chess is always a party. Um. Y'all won't expect me over here, will you? you? No one expects danger at the big chess board. Excuse me, sir. I just need a little bit of blood. I just need a top off. Thank you. No one expects the, the, the big chess board to be a place of vampires. Got you. I'll figure it out. You try not to get punched in the butt to death. Um. Taken my queen, but I would get checkmate in the end. Knight to L11. I I, th I hate every time I every time I go to do Eric Bain Geralt voice, I just slip into Revolver Ocelot. Um, hey, I love the color of that thing. It's very ominous, though. Like, that shade of purple, that, like, fuchsia kind of pinky purple. Ooh, amazing color. My favorite color. However, I think if I get close to it, it's going to kill me. Like, God, it's like it's set... To exactly to draw me in. Oh, where are you going, buddy? Are you going over here where I can slap your shit?
Haha, <laughs> they'll never find him here. My uncle works at Nintendo. He said they're adding a new chess piece called the Vampire Hunter. It's like a queen, but you're not gay if you use it. Um. Well, shit. What do I. City Ballet. Come on, guys. Graphic, graphic design, you don't put black text on fucking black. F fuck you, you don't see shit. Out of my way. I could have gone this way. Who just left a flashlight here? Um... I, sh I shouldn't be running, huh? Um, is there anyone around? There's gonna be. You know this place is gonna be fucking popping off soon. When I entered the lobby of Cryogenic, a shiver ran down my spine. It was quiet. Too quiet. The signal yeah. came from a spot below me. I had to find an elevator leading to a lower floor. Have you ever wondered what the world of tomorrow will look like? Nope. Cryogenic has addressed this question for you. Um... Fucking ooh, I have a PDF. Oh wait, that's the wrong button. From D, D, D Blue Menthol. Re Cryostatus Cameron. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your interest in our cryostasis chambers. As you correctly read, our goal is to use these for short-term cryosleep phases in order to minimize user aging. In the future, you will no longer be forced to waste precious lifetime sleeping or traveling to work, but rather enter into a refreshing cold sleep instead. Uh, people currently spend more than a third of their lives asleep. That means that the use of cryosleep phases alone can already extend user lifespans by a third. I would be happy to send one of our consultants over to see you to explain the technology in more detail. Tomorrow's technology, live it today. Okay, okay, okay. Like today's duties, clean up office, bring out garbage. Duties my ass. Um, like, I, I love sleep. Um, I would never give up sleep. Um, I get that people don't love spending, you know, like they said, like a third of your life unconscious and shit. Um. Elevator disabled, sir. So, instead you just... Freeze yourself for eight hours, I guess. Find him and bring me his head. Do you do you wake from? Actually, I had kind of expected something like this. Yeah, it was Otherwise, obvious. it would have been suspiciously easy. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been any gameplay. Oh. What? There weren't cameras here a second ago. <laughs> Whatever, guy. Um. Like, do you, do you just fucking cryo sleep for eight hours? That seems weird. I, I mean, like, that wouldn't have any of the. Like, I know it's sci fi, it can do whatever the fuck it wants. But I feel like that wouldn't have any of the, like, restorative benefits of sleep. Because the whole point of cryo is you freeze yourself. 
You're not doing... You're not doing the thing. And... I don't know, cryo... It's... It's interesting. You will never have to wait um, a moment of life. When you go to bed at night, you will lie down in one of our cryo sleep chambers. Cryo is interesting. Sh fuck it. Shut the fuck up. Not a minute have you ever wondered what fully the Oh my god, shut up. Shut up everything. I'm trying to talk here. Um cryo shit is interesting. I feel like it is rarely used in an interesting way. In like fiction. Um terminal diseases can easily be waited out. Don't like today's like then welcome to the future. The like obviously like space travel. Obvious cryo use. And lots of things do that. But like beyond that, it's always like either really weird and shit that like cryo wouldn't work for, like this. Or just really dumb shit. Like, I know it's not, like, you know, a major thing, but, like, there was that one fucking movie that the whole concept was, like... There's, there's no vampires here. There's no vampires here. Um, uh, like, the whole concept was, like, we have a prison in space that's just... you. They put every criminal in cryo for their sentence and it's like what's hey what on earth is the point of that afraid your life might be coming to an end oh my god shut what up with this shit um like nominally the whole point of prison I don't oh, I think I don't Fuck off. Um, like, obviously, you know, prison doesn't work. Um, is a stupid idea and is is bad. But like, nominally, the whole point of prison is like punishment for a crime, and you uh, hope that they will be rehabilitated afterwards as part of like the the penance of it. Having that, like, that's where the word penitentiary comes from. Penance. Um, pretty sure anyway. Uh, and so, like, fucking freezing them so that they don't even, like, l have to be conscious for their term have you ever wondered what the world of just seems like nothing? Cryogenic has addressed this question for you and instructed hundreds of futurologists to develop the cities of the future for us. Futurologists, huh? Time is Thanks to our patented cryo and revitalization processes, cryogenic offers a maximum of safety. Um, okay, I'm just phase, your body is kept safe and secure from all those negative. And then, you know, talking fucking real real world shit. Like, there's so many fucking horror stories of, like, cryo companies that went out of business. Like, cryo company, like, people let people freeze them when they were dead or near dead or whatever. And then, like, uh, well, it's probably gonna get seen, huh? Yeah. Hey, stop it. Um, like, which, which way are you going, buddy? Around? No. Um, and it's like, ri fucking ridiculous. Like, you, you trust fucking a company to wake you in the future or whatever, and oops. They went out of business. Now you're just fucking th thawed somewhere, sometime. Obviously, still dead because their proprietary wake you up technology uh, 
didn't happen because no one has that technology yet, actually. Um, like, I don't know. I, I have a lot of thoughts, as you can tell, about cryo as a concept. Ooh, that, that looks like a PDA. Um, so taking out the second one kills you? Do you explode or something? No? Hardly seem dead. Oh, it's not. I thought that was a PDA. Um. So is he... He's not dead, he's just, like, stuck there now? In the fucking depowered power suit? Seems inconvenient, but, like... I hit the fucking kill button. When I hit the kill button, I want the guy dead. Oh, did I, did I fucking clear the room? Holy shit. Um, the elevator was accessible again. Neat. I had to reach it as quickly as possible in order to save Rose and the others. Good thing I also have magical vampire hacking powers. Do I have... I have four power points. Holy shit, I need to spend these. Um, confusion. Um... None of these seem good, is the thing. Speed? Just... I can go real fast. To quote my best friend, Sonic the Hedgehog, gotta go fast. Um... Reduces enemy attention already attracted to zero and increases... Two, three, it only lasts three seconds? I can just kill a guy! Like, they perceive nothing of their surroundings, or I can kill them with a ch the choke that causes no noise and... Sure, it's just that one. There, we've got we've got distract now. Um, so wait, this says extended duration. The title is extended duration, but it says extends the range of the skill. And then this says increased area of effect. Increases the range at which the power can be used and the range at which areas w enemies will be lured. So that second one is increased an area of effect, but... <sighs> Y'all, did you even fucking think about your powers and how th there's one good power and it's fucking force choke? You made force choke and then forgot that, like, anything else, like, there's no reason to use any other power. I guess if you're going for, like, a non-lethal run, but, like... Why had they kidnapped Rose? Why had they taken Steiner with them? Wait, like they took bullet. Steiner? I thought they killed Steiner. Pieces missing. Whatever. They riddled him with bullets! He fell! Freeing the others. Eric, what are you talking about? Oh. Come down. The others are very close. Okay. I, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm in the elevator. I saw a computer in the elevator foyer. Maybe I could use it to gather some information. Really? I see two computers. Um, at least. Use. Although I wasn't as good with computers as Rose, I still managed to coax something out of it. In the back room, there were several laboratories. I was afraid that that was where they had taken Rose and the others. I mean, it seems likely, yeah. But we just opened them, so they're free now, right? Um, well, anyway. Uh, it's time to call the episode. Um. So thank you for watching, y'all. I love you very much. I'll see you next time. Remember, Black Lives Matter, defund the police. Bye bye!